everybody, it's Raven, and I am back with another episode of Raven's Roguelike Roulette. Today we are going to be checking out Hammer Watch. It was one of the games that people had mentioned to me. Hammer Watch is kind of a bullet hell roguelike RPG shooter thing. I'm really not too familiar with it. We're going to try, uh, we're going to try playing a different character other than the Paladin. I've already checked out the Paladin. We're going to go Wizard, just because I think Wizards are cool. If I lived in a fantasy world, I would probably uh, be a wizard. So you basically start off with, uh, you know, being able to kind of point your spells a little bit. And everybody has a regular attack. And everybody has one special, which for us looks like this nice big cone of fire looking thing. As you can see, we've only got 35 HP. Monsters do about 10 per hit. Um... And it's got, the game's got this nice pixel art vibe with a nice, you know, fantasy soundtrack and whatnot. So, this guy is, uh, you know, somewhat of a ranged, ranged caster of sorts. You can see I'm not too good at aiming with, <laughs> with my uh, Xbox controller, but that's what we're playing it on because why the heck not. I do like playing games, if, you know, if there is controller support, there are very few games that I prefer keyboard over controller for. You know, clearly RPGs and strategy games and the like. I clearly prefer keyboard controls, but for stuff like this, even though I'd probably play more efficiently on the keyboard. Oh, wait. Oh, it channels. That's super cool. I didn't realize it was a channeling spell. All right. Well, from what I understand, the goal with this is to find the next floor and unlock some stuff. And beyond that, I really don't know. I mean... I haven't really played too much of this game. When I first got it, it was still in early access, and it was pretty unbalanced and kind of buggy. But since then, you know, I checked this game out a little bit before we started the episode here. And, you know, it's, uh, all the kinks seem to have been worked out. The game seems pretty balanced, i.e. I didn't die right off the bat. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and play this and see how far we can get. I know this was one of the ones that came up. Um, for the requests, I know beyond this, I kind of need to be, I need to play some Spelunky, I need to play um, Magicite, which is another roguelike that not a lot of people have played, but some people really enjoy. Um, this feels a lot like the map that I had just played, so maybe the maps in this aren't randomized. Maybe we've just got permadeath. It's hard to tell. Um, it does save your progress, I believe, so there are save points that will save your progress in the game, but I do believe there's still permadeath in case you die. Otherwise, this wouldn't be on the roguelike section, now would it? If there was no permadeath. Permadeath is, you know, one of those core core roguelike functions. If it doesn't have permadeath, it's not a roguelike. You're probably just playing an RPG or something, so... Even though this feels pretty familiar... I could be wrong about the about the random layout. And at this point, you're probably saying, like, Raven, why don't you research this stuff before you start playing? And my response to you is, uh, I don't have the time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. No, I'm kidding. People, people who really know what they're doing, they've got time for that. I, however, do not have time for that. So <laughs> instead, I'm just going to be playing by the seat of my pants. You know, I played for about 20 minutes before this video. That's all I need to kick ass and take names, right? 20 minutes experience. I guess I could just camp out here by these mana gems, and then I don't have to worry about everything else. And what's nice about this is it seems like there's a little AoE explosion on impact. So if you get, like, a big group going, you can get, you know, a nice big train of bad guys. You can just sit down and mow them all down, which is pretty nice. I don't know if there's any XP mechanic in this game. I know the core function is gold. Gold seems to be pretty important. Fry all those guys. Goodbye. And we need to get another key. You can see at the top that there's kind of a list of keys. Uh, so bronze keys open up these bronze-looking doors, and we're going to come over here so that we can get a whole bunch of, uh, get all this gold. Got a vendor coin, which I believe will let us swap for items or some such of the vendor. And again, I'm pretty sure I'll be hearing from uh, uh, part of the Creed or somebody else who requested this. Because I know somebody requested this. If you're the guy who requested I play Magicka, I expect like a very detailed ups and downs of everything I was doing wrong. Like, oh, Raiden, you need to be using your special ability more. You need to be using it less. So you're taking really bad damage because this uh, little maggot fella keeps shooting at you from long range. 
and I will take those tips and absorb them fully in the event that I turn this into a full-on series. Although, to be honest with you guys, what i am kind of been doing as uh, we've been going along with all of this is I've been thinking about which games I want to play and which ones I think I'm going to have to leave behind because I don't think I can handle... Oh boy, I'm going to die, aren't I? Got poisoned pretty bad by that last group. But it looks like we live. We found some healing stuff, which is helpful. And look, here's one of those little save points I was talking about. So we activated that checkpoint. We can go down here and see what's down towards the bottom. We do have a map, which is cool. I'm just uh, not using it very much because I'd rather explore a bit. Oh my goodness, that did 12 points of damage. That totally hurt. Let's pick up all this extra gold. Our gold is listed... Is it listed in statistics? Hmm, no. Ah, it's listed on the map. Yeah, if you pull up the map, you can see we've got... 451 gold right now getting higher probably do my due diligence and pick up all of this gold you guys are gonna be like Raven do you even roguelike at all I'm gonna say yes yes I do I'm just lazy all right so we need another bronze key I think there's one down here we can long range these guys Clearly, you know, the first floor of any game is pretty easy. Oh my goodness. That's Oh my goodness, I'm going to die, aren't I? That would not be good. All right, we need some we need some HP. Let's uh play this smart. Oh my goodness, my aim. I was thinking too I should probably try out Realm of the Mad God again, considering that it is a roguelike bullet hell. It just also happens to be an MMO. He's actually one of the good guys that I follow on YouTube, who's a fellow YouTube person of awesome, is Sea Otter Gamer, and he has been playing Realm of the Mad God for a very long time. So he'd probably be able to hook me up with a lot of useful tips and things. So maybe I'll hit him up before I try that out. But I think for the duration of the series, what I'm going to be doing is we're going to go with Realm of the Mad God, Magisite, this game, maybe Hero Siege if I'm feeling up to it, and that's probably going to be it. And then from that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the list of, uh, of games that I feel like playing for 50 or 60 hours or more, and then we can all vote. Because, you know, this voting thing seems to be working out pretty good for the channel. Everybody really seems seems to like that. Hey, strange pranks are scattered around the castle. Make sure not to miss any of them. Is he talking about this thing over here on the right? Is, there a, is that a secret? Look, I see this thing. What is this thing over here? I want this. Oh, maybe there's a secret tunnel down here. Let's go check that out. Sometimes these things lead to secret tunnels, I think. Maybe? Wait. Yeah, yeah, what is that? We found a strange plank. Cool. So there are secret tunnels in this game. That's good information. All right, let's move on. In case you're wondering, this isn't really a twin stick shooter. You kind of aim by the direction of where your guy is pointing. Just to clarify that in case there was any confusion. Now I'm constantly going to be checking everywhere for secret tunnels. I'm going to be like, where where are they? Where are you hiding them, Hammerwatch? Come on now. There we go. But yeah, this game's cool. I really dig the art in this game, actually. I'm a big fan of well-done pixel art, and this is really, really solid in my opinion. Like, the... And, you know, like, good resolution support. The game controller just works. Let's blow these guys up because I don't want to die. Good thing there's some food right there. Um, we don't really need that, so I don't want to spend a key there. Let's, oh, and hey, there's another coin. Excellent. Let's coin it up. Starting to feel like I might have fared better if I played this on mouse and keyboard. Alright, there's a star sign. I don't know what that means, but maybe it's a shopkeeper? We can get some upgrades. I'd really love to see what the upgrade interface looks like. Oh, this is kind of cool. I just noticed that you don't actually have to hit things. Vendor coins give you a price reduction. It can see, be seen in the vendor panel. Oh, God. Okay, that sucked. Hey! Combo. Killing 10 enemies in quick succession triggers a combo, which increases move speed and damage for a short while. 
Cool, so I guess you actually buy class upgrades. Ooh, can't believe I did that. All right, so we're alive still, just barely. There's some food over here, which is really good. Um, I guess we could come down here and get this other chunk of food. Hey. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and ignore me saying hi to my wife as she gets back and wonders what the heck I'm doing. And we are going to get back down to the next floor. All right. You know, because that's kind of what I try to do. I try to squeeze in these short videos just about wherever I can during my regular days. It's a little challenging. Mikey and I were able to hang out a lot today. He's really excited about the Street Fighter series coming up, so he's been practicing. I've been trying to teach him stuff, but he's very impatient. He can only uh, handle being in the training room for so long. <laughs> Which is... To be understood, I told him that if he could ever beat me when I'm playing Goken, that I would get him a new video game. And so he thinks that if he just tries really hard without practicing, that he'll be able to pull that off. Oh, so I gotta, I'm not, to get this combo thing, I not only have to kill 10 enemies, I have to do it without taking any damage in order to activate it and do it in quick succession. Apparently. I think that's what the little purple meter down there, just above our HP, is for. But so far, I'm just glad that I'm alive. When I tried playing this game in early access, it really, uh... Oh my goodness, they're shooting at me through the barriers. I should probably take these guys out then. When I tried playing this game really early on early access, I, uh... Did not do so well with it. I don't think I even made it to the second floor. But then I hadn't just been coming off all of these other challenging roguelikes like Nuclear Throne and a bunch of the other games that I've been playing. So who knows? Maybe my gamer, my gaming capabilities have improved vastly uh, since <laughs> since uh, early access. Like basically after I got off of Binding of Isaac Rebirth last year, I went on this big roguelike kick and picked up most of the games that I've been playing in this series like all in one fell swoop. Um, and I was very, very, very excited. Looks like we've actually got a boss over there. That's kind of scary. Um, very excited about playing games in this genre because, well, broke likes are super fun. And I picked up Hammerwatch, Magisite, uh, this, Delver, Hero Siege, like a whole bunch of stuff all around the same time. Because, you know, the indie guys, too, they, they picked up on it pretty fast. They were like, this genre is not only is it fun to play, it's super fun to develop, I, I hope it's fun to develop because if it's not, then you're making all these games for us and we're just playing them. All right. Oh, that's dangerous because standing still for projectiles is not going to work. We might die right here. We really need to find some food. I really don't want to die. We've come so far. Come so far. Oh man, is that like a gold key exit? Yeah, it is. It's a gold key one. All right, let's uh, let's look around. We really need to get some food, or our poor little dude here is gonna expire. And all of this progress that we've made will probably be lost. What can we do? This over here on the left looks really important, but I can't hop over that bridge. You guys see some food, let me know in the... Oh, wait, we're not streaming. You can't let me know in the chat. <laughs> oh, okay. Jokes that are only funny to me. I should probably not make those, right? Oh, hey, look, another shopkeeper. If we can get over there, that would be very splendid. The floor two shopkeeper. We've got 703 gold, so we might be able to buy something new. I think the, the other combat upgrades were like, oh, look, there's some food. Woo, combo 10. Oh, quick, let's go buy this food before this random beetle decides to destroy us. Okay, so we're alive. We found some food. Good job. Good job, everybody. Oh, and hey, look, there's a silver key or something in there. Oh, I like this. I like that. Yeah, all right. Yep, that is definitely a silver key, so this is good. Let's 
keep exploring. Maybe we can circle our way down towards the shop somehow. Man, you really have to, like, group these guys up. Maybe that's what it's trying to do. Maybe it's trying to encourage us to, like, kind of train the monsters a little bit. So we can, like, turn around and kill them all in one fell swoop. What do you think? We gotta bunch them up. Oh, that wasn't ten. That wasn't ten monsters. Oh, well. Oh, but it did drop us some food. That's sweet. All right, let's pick that up. Let's go over here. Looks like we have more baddies to kill. Oh, no. <laughs> A little bit of slow reaction time there. It looks like we must be leveling up somehow because we have more mana than we originally did. Oh, that's bad. All right. Oh, there's a chest. I th wonder if this is just one of those games where it starts off kind of kind of slow, you know, kind of easy paced, and then it just gets completely crazy later on. Maybe this is something where I need to need to research out uh, some things. All right, so let's use our silver key over here. Seems like a good enough place as any to use it. Just gotta dodge these projectiles. Wow, these things go far. I guess they want us to shoot and move. Shoot and move. Ah, oh, I got hit. Now I'm in, now I'm poisoned. Now I'm poisoned. Oh, I'm still poisoned. Why? Are, oh, now I'm slowed. It slows and it poisons. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh no, I think I'm gonna die. Oh no! Oh! Oh my God. Okay, one HP. Let's uh, let's not mess with the little maggot men. Run away. <laughs> We need to find an easier source of food. Actually, I don't think there is an easier source of food. Crap. All right, well, let's tango with these guys. We just gotta, we, we gotta be better. Woo. No fail mission right here. That's what this is. Oh no, something exploded. Oh hey look, I'm not dead. I'm just at the beginning of the floor. Huh. Not sure why that is. Is this a roguelike we're playing or is this something else now? Hmm, let's see. I don't know guys, if this doesn't qualify for the video, might have to make a, uh, make like an apology update. Like, I'm sorry guys, somebody in the comments had me play something that was just an RPG bullet hell uh, shooter thing. Dungeon crawler aspect of, of the llama. Um, ooh, a weapon vendor. I want you. How do we get over to you? Oh, um, do I need to get more? Wish there was a way to pan the map. Okay, let's, uh, let's go down here. See somewhere I haven't been. But yeah, if this doesn't, if we don't have permadeath, I don't know if it qualifies. There's another, uh, there's another floor point here. How do I open grates? Hmm. All right, well, let's go in here and see what happens. Oh, we're back on floor one, but we are over here. Oh, we got a one-up. Is there somewhere where our lives are listed? Maybe that's what the skull does. So maybe there is permadeath. We just are really freaking good, right? Maybe we're just a thing. Let's see. We looks like we got a vendor here. Let's see what this lady does. Ooh. Health pool increased? Yes, please. I'll happily take that. This way we are not so squishy. And it looks like we get another uh, staircase down to another point on floor two. Yep, floor two. Uh, but it doesn't appear that it leads anywhere. Oh, wait, secret, secret tunnel. All right, cool. I like it. We're back, uh, back about where we need to be so we can circle around and try to take on these little maggot nests once more. So far, this isn't going too bad. We died once, but apparently you've got multiple lives in this game. Um, perhaps you run out of them eventually? Who's to say? The last time that I died... Oh, boy. The last time that I died on this game, I went straight back to the main menu, so... Thinking we're on track, but... 
Alright, so direct hits. Close hits do... Ooh, look at all this de fancy dodging. It's like ducking and weaving. Oh my goodness, this is that is always the worst of ideas, isn't it? And I'm just like, oh no, it's Qual stand still and spray you with the uh, spray you with the sprayer of doom. There we go. We got the nest. All right, we're running and ducking. You know, if we die, we'll just be able to find out how, uh, just how perma the death is in this, if at all. Although we did just get another one up, so I guess we're not gonna find out about that. So apparently, let's see, traps like this could sometimes be deactivated from a button that shares the same frame color as the trap. Okay, that's good to know. There's some health down here. And a whole load of bats. It gives me this purple glow. I want to say that it makes me... I, it looks like a shield. I want it to be a shield. I know there's no way it could be a shield. The game is not going to be that nice to me. Is there something worth getting down here? I don't know, but we're going to go tango anyway. Oh no, that's not good. I'm suddenly dead because I'm an idiot. All right, so it's keeping a counter of our deaths, actually, is what it's doing. I'm going to go find somewhere to let something kill me to see how this actually works. Because if I die a third... Oh, wait, maybe the Ankh up there in the top right is our lives. I can't even imagine how incredibly frustrated you guys are at this point. But hey, you know what? If that is our life counter, that's totally fine because that means we can pick up where we left off with Hammer Watch the next time I decide to play it. Which is pretty cool because, you know, this seems like a pretty decent endpoint. Uh, although I do kind of want to cross over that spike trap. Oh look, there's a save point. Let's go ahead and we'll cross, we'll cross the spikes. We'll kill the beetles. Ow game really does not like it if you stand still ever all right so we crossed the trap we killed the beetles we ate some health and we found ourselves a save point all right excellent let's get back to the main menu and thank you guys so much for watching this has been another episode of raven's roguelike roulettes this has been hammer watch a game i know very little about but it's pretty fun to play i wouldn't mind you know crossing this off of my games uh that i have totally and utterly finished and destroyed so if you guys would like to see a playthrough of this just let me know i'll be putting out the uh the straw poll for that very shortly in the near future but for now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time